Guys, welcome back to Precision Rifle Network. Joel here. Today, the Bullet Seeker Mach 4. This is a chronograph. Let's get right into the video. So what I've got here, I'm going to be shooting out my window, uh, which if you've been around the channel for a while, this is not this is not abnormal or dangerous at all. Uh, I live out in the country. From this window to the target I'm going to be shooting towards is 100 yards. I've got a small target out there. I don't exactly expect to be able to hit it. I say that because I haven't zeroed the glass with the rifle just yet and yada yada. This is kind of toughest scenario here. Like, for example, if I was using my lab radar downstairs, I'd have to go in, I'd have to change settings, especially running a suppressor, especially running subsonic and it may or may not pick up has been my my findings. Um, I love my lab radar when it works. Um, this, so far, uh, has been working just fine. And what we're gonna do then is I've got the SIG cross here and I'm running 308 subsonics through it and it's suppressed. I'm gonna attach this on the pick rail that is underneath the front of my gun that I would normally put my bipod on. And we're just gonna see what the app does and what it says over five shots and gives a standard deviation and just kind of see what the app does. So let's get into it. All right, go ahead and get our screen recording on the app going here and get back into that app. All right, let's build a new profile here. So new profile, edit, I'm gonna call this one SIG 308, barrel length is 18, I don't know that all this matters, this is atomic ammo, we'll just say 308 sub, gunpowder weight, no idea, primer weight, no idea, 75. Yeah, so this that you're seeing on the screen right now was from my 22 long rifle. I see I need a new string, but I don't know how to add that in. Oh, right here. There we are. String 2, SIG 308, blah, 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 ammo. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Which is obviously pretty simple in theory. Oh, this way. Simple as that. This back on here. Got our ammo here. All right, let's go ahead and put five shots down there and just see what the app does. No, well, it's not talking to me this time, but it did record that shot. This is definitely not zeroed. I'm just spotting it and trying to hit. Oh, I hit my plate and proceeded to knock it right off the stand down there. We'll just put a couple more into the dirt. Okay. All right, so looks like we picked it up. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, not bad. So that atomic ammo looks like minimum speed 1,071, maximum speed 1,085. Um, standard deviation of five with an extreme spread of 14. Dang, that's not bad at all. Cool, well that, I mean, that's pretty much it. Now before when I was, I wonder if I changed a setting or something, but it was actually telling me out loud. It was speaking out loud to me and telling me what the velocities were um, with each shot. doesn't really matter. The point is, it seems to work really well. Uh, I, more testing is needed, but for now guys, this seems like a pretty sweet little product um, that obviously works. So. Just a few other apps things, you know, you've got your different strings of fire. Obviously, you can export data. 
you can actually look at what did it say yeah so you've got your your different statistics here and energy um, you can do location and weather if you so desire yeah all kinds of stuff very cool well oh and look at that 596 detections and apparently you can go in and look at those individually in the files somehow like if you plug it into your computer or whatever so I'm going to try this on on more rifles, uh, center fires that are running supersonic, and just compare it. I'll probably do a comparison video, this side by side with the lab radar, and just see, you know, the difference between those and and all that kind of stuff. But so far, so I have I have used the bullet seeker for 15 rounds total, 10 through my 22 long rifle, and five now through the 308 subsonic. Uh, both obviously subsonic and both suppressed with no trouble whatsoever picking up the bullet going out here. So I figured if I do subsonic and suppressed, that's kind of worst case scenario for a lot of other um, chronographs, at least for the lab radar. And man, I, this seems fine. <laughs> I'm just, I love new technology. I just haven't gone through it enough yet to give you guys much more information than that. Just a quick sneak peek. Hopefully uh, that is, um, you know, good enough for now. And, I, and I'll bring more of this to you as I can. So hit that subscribe button. Check out those affiliate links if you want to save some money there down below the description in the video. And stay tuned for more great videos from Precision Rifle Network.